Hi, my name is Ethan here with Toa, here to show you how to use the Toa Tools Smart Charging PDM. Built for safety and reliability, the Toa Tools 120V PDM Smart Charger is capable of handling all your outdoor power equipment charging needs. Its purpose is to limit power draw of a single outlet to 16 amps or a limit of your choice. This saves you money by preventing usage rate hikes and avoids tens of thousands of dollars in costly infrastructure installation and maintenance. This also helps keep you, your workers, and your facilities safe by limiting current draw. The PDM Smart Charger is capable of reliably charging off of one plug, connecting together to manage the current draw of many devices, and doing so reliably without the risk of tripping a breaker. To set up one PDM unit, all you have to do is plug it in. Note that you will need to use a dedicated 20 amp outlet in order to power the PDM. A standard 15 amp outlet will not work with the included cable. You'll notice that once I've plugged in the unit, a couple things will happen. First, this display turns on, showing you how much current you're drawing in amps. Second, you'll see these green lights start to come on one by one with a click sound. That means that those outlets are turning on and ready to power your devices. To demonstrate the power management capabilities of the PDM, we have this Milwaukee charger and three of these space heaters that we use as heavy duty charging analogs. Give me a second to plug these in. Once I plug this battery in, you'll see that it'll start charging immediately and you can see that we're pulling about half an amp from the PDM. If I keep increasing the power draw, You'll see that once we reach 16 amps, this port will shut off. The PDM will remember how much current is needed for that port and turn it back on once enough current is available for it. This may take about 30 seconds to happen. Bear in mind that this expansion port is not managed, so do not try to use it as a fifth port for charging. To connect multiple PDMs together, there's only two steps you have to follow. First, on the back of the chargers, connect the link up port on the bottom unit to the link down port on the unit above it using the optionally provided Toa power patch cable. If you have more, just continue following this pattern from the bottom to top. That connects the PDM's logic together, but to power them all off a single wall outlet, you will need to use the optionally provided Toa power link cable. Connect it from the expansion port here to the power input here. Again, if you have more than two units, keep following it up the chain. If you set it up right, you should notice that the units turn on in a one by one line down the stack. Okay, now that we have all these units set up, let's try and manage it just the same way as we were before. I'm gonna take these two and plug them in on the bottom. And I'll take these two and I'll plug them into the top. I chose these four ports at random, but you can use any ones on the units. Now, let's turn these on. Turn this one on the bottom, this one on the top. Plug this battery in. See, that comes on the top. And I will turn this one on. And you'll see that even though neither individual unit exceeded 16 amps, because the whole system exceeded, this one still shut off. And likewise, if I turn these off, you should see in just a little bit that, that the plug comes back online. There we go. So what have we learned today? We've learned that the Toa Tools PDM can be an effective solution for your OBE charging needs, that you can connect multiple PDMs together to charge many units, and how to power on the units and how to use them. Thank you very much for watching. From Toa Tools, I've been Ethan Hamlin.